Deep Digger Dan is back. Oh, yes. Look how sexy you look. Thank you very much. <laughs> They're a little bit tighter on the pants. So are you excited for the day? I'm very excited now. I've got the cap on. Yeah. I'm starting to feel a bit Deep Digger Danish. Yeah. As soon as I get outside and have that metal detector in my hand, bang, I'm off. Hello and welcome. Can you remember me? You might have seen me a couple of years ago. My name is Deep Digger Dan. I used to be a very well-known metal detectorist in the world. I'm not anymore because I haven't metal detected for two years. But today I am. I'm back. Back with a vengeance. You've got to get out to get in. And I'm out with my friends, Dracula. Sorry, because he's got blonde hair, I keep thinking he's a girl. Uh, Dracula, Mazzy, they look very similar, <laughs> and the witch. Um, very excited, honestly. It's been, it has been two years, I think, since I've metal detected, and I'm, I am so excited about metal detecting. It's, it's not a big area. It's overgrown. There's things, there is things to be found. There's a beck at the bottom, there's a story of the place, but my family might have owned a pub here. <laughs> so let's get his metal detectors out and find some treasure. Are you up for this? Are you ready? Come on then! Come on! So my first find of the day. Don't get too excited, but there's plenty of time. Look at this, big piece of lead in the shape of a heart. But it is just a lump of lead. We're going to do better than that, but that is a good start. My first find, guys. I dug a massive hole for it. And it's this. <laughs> I have no idea what it is. It's, it's huge. It's clearly metal. I don't know. But hey, my first find. So I've just asked Martin what he thinks this may be. I think it may be a log splitter. Okay. You know where you put it in the crack of the tree trunk and hit it with a big hammer and it split it. So could that be quite old? Uh, maybe from the 90s. Oh, I'm quite pleased with that. Cool. Very heavy. So there they are, everybody metal detecting. And I've had a good find. This is literally my second signal of the day. And looking in here, I can tell you now this is a very popular place for clay pigeon shooting. Now that will be a part of the discs which they shoot. Someone had a good shot. But look what I found. Here we are. I've not looked at it. I know it's a button. I'm pretty sure it's a button. It's military. A military button, guys. Look at that. You've got the crown on top. Ooh, look, look, you've got like a flying bird crown on top, a military button, a beautiful condition military button on my second dig within five minutes of starting to metal detect. I'm really, really getting my mojo back. This is what I was born for. I was born to metal detect and find fantastic things to show you. Look at that! Get in! So Dan's doing well today. He's found two buttons. God knows what he's found now. Um, this place is quite overgrown. Um, yeah, and today I'm using a new metal detector that I've never used before. And I'm not sure if it's just me or am I getting false readings? So I haven't found too much with it yet, but I'm ever so grateful to Martin and Diane for lending me that today. Thank you. Nobody else has found anything special. I found, I have found a pie container, like a pie. Wonderful, Diane has found a pie. 
out. All right, we're looking for metal today, but hey, she's found a pie. Good luck. Well done, Diane. I found another button. Now, I can see the crown on top. It's another military button. Yeah, that's the same one. It's got the crown there. You can see the crown and the bird. So it's the same button, probably from the same man. Um, let's just hope we don't find the man. But yeah, prime example guys, how not to metal detect. Sounds good. Sounds like gold. Uh, 61 to 68. Are you ready? Yeah. So few signals today, but this could be the one, Mazzy. Yep, good luck. Oh, it's in here. It's in there. Oh, there it is. No. Nope. Yeah. It's in it. Oops, oh, there, it's there. What is that? It's there. I'll tell you what it is. It's a piece of copper. <laughs> copper scrap. Copper scrap. Piece of copper No, no, no. That's not video worthy, is it? So far, two wonderful buttons, but this has just come out. Look at that. It actually says on it... Oh, let me lie down, hang on. It says on it, Danger Explosive. Firebird USA. I don't know. No idea what it is, but uh, it's got to be special. So today has been borderline rubbish. I found two lovely, lovely buttons. Found nothing in the last two hours. Neither has anybody else. But we just moved into this field and look what we've got. The first coin of the day. It's a penny or half penny. You know what? It's that long since I metal detected. I can't remember the difference in size between a penny and half penny. I think it's a penny. It looks like 1906 or 1900. Hopefully we can find a few more of them. 50 pence. 50 pence. Mazzy, I found 50 pence. 50 pence, yeah. It's a George... No, it's not. It's an Elizabeth II. 50 pence piece. Okay, it's an old one. What year? Uh, seven... Probably, I can't read it. 1969. 1969, I can read it. Clear as a bell. Queen Elizabeth II, 1969. A coin. Well done. Yeah, it's rubbish. A jolly good morning to you all. Good morning. I say a jolly good morning because we're outside the Jolly Sailor. Oh, yeah. We stayed at a yeah. Brit stops for the last two nights. Mm -hmm. We haven't been filming, have we? We've tried, but we haven't. Uh, we met up with two of our friends, uh, Dracula and the Witch. And <laughs> people who have followed us for years, followed me for years, will know them from years ago in my uh, Deep Digger Dan videos. Very good friends, very lovely people. And they said, uh, would you like to, like to meet up for a meal? So we thought, well, we'll look on a Brit stops. Came here, had a meal with them. Yes. Lovely, lovely barman. Uh, well, owner of the poor bar, whatever you want to call him. Manager, whatever. And he says you can metal detect down the side of the pub. Yeah. Mark. Yeah. And we metal detected down there yesterday. We didn't find much. So yeah, we've been here and had a good time, haven't we? We've had a lovely time and it was a pleasure to have met Diana and Martin. <laughs> it was. It was lovely to see them. Yeah. And they've also given us yeah. someone. Oh, and someone else. Do you know how teddies are? People have teddies and they show them at landmarks and things and they have Facebook groups and things. Well... Diane and Martin have a teddy. Here he is. He's called... Can't remember. Goffy. We're, we're going to call him Gothy. His name's Goffy and then... His last name is Dracula Backwards. Dracula Backwards. Actor. Actor. We'll just call him Gothy. So we're going to take him on his travels and take some pictures of him. Yeah. At, at some landmarks. So we'll do that for you. What have you got? And the other one you got. This is Oh, mine. he's well pleased. <laughs> Diane, <laughs> give me this little girl. It's a mermaid! It's a mermaid and a friend made it. Especially for me. Look it's at this. Handmade. It's so beautiful. sexy. Absolutely <laughs> stunning. I've slept with her for the last two nights. She is great yeah, in bed. Been, I've been She's on great the drop in bed. Down. <laughs> 
so honey yes you actually have a fascinating story about the jolly sailor don't you i don't know if you want to go into it now or i'll later try on. i'll try and say it as quickly as i can because it is a long story the jolly sailor pub people wonder where the name jolly sailor comes from because it's not on the coast we're about 10 miles away from the coast um and i did some research Apparently, in the late 1800s, the man who had who owned the Jolly Sailor, his nickname was his name was John Fletcher, and his nickname was uh, the Jolly Sailor. John the Jolly Sailor Fletcher. John Fletcher had a wife called Mary Jane, and because my mum's maiden name, my family name, is Fletcher, I looked it up. My family tree, because I've done my family tree. There is a John Fletcher in my family, although I've no records of him coming from around this area, from living in this area, who was married to a lady called Mary Jane, and her maiden name was Mary Jane Jolly, and the pub's called the Jolly Sailor. Could it be my relatives who owned that pub in the late 1800s? It's the same time span, late 1800s. It could be, could be Mazzy. Could be, yeah, maybe somebody can help us out on that. Do I doubt research. it. Yeah, give it a good go.